Traders, that's it for me today. I'm going to finish up another green day for the week. I've got the fourth consecutive green day and the um, result is quite nice. I'm just over $18,000 in profits. Uh, biggest winner, as usual, Tesla. And the topic of the lesson of today is how to watch the daily when you pick up a stock that you want to trade. And let's take a look at uh, Boeing. Now, Boeing, as you can see, is not my biggest winner because I had two trades in Boeing. The second one covered the loss of my first trade. So I'm going to finish green in Boeing. But I do want to discuss it because it was my pre-market pick. Yogi also mentioned it today as a special trade today. And we were both interested in Boeing because it had a fantastic um, daily. So right here at the top, you can see the daily of Boeing. That's what we liked. Now, the first move was actually made yesterday. It had a big move to the highs and over the highs. So as you can see here, Boeing made a very nice pop up over the highs yesterday. And you could have considered uh, a very good chance today that it's going to continue with the trend uh, and with the momentum to a new high. That's why we liked it. That's a technical formation that rarely goes wrong. So you start with a daily. When you pick a stock, you really start with a daily. Uh, you watch the daily and then if you have a good technical formation for an intraday long, then you go long. If you don't, then you just miss a trade. But if you take a look at Boeing's daily, moving up to a new high, a nice daily breakout, then it has to be on your watch list. It just has to be on your watch list. Now, what's special about Boeing more than other stocks? I mean, we, we mentioned some other stocks that have a nice daily and so on. Well, Boeing is a company that almost everyone's watching. Now, just think about it. Every trader is watching Boeing or almost every trader is watching Boeing. How about investors? There's more investors than traders. They're watching Boeing as well. So everyone's watching Boeing. Think about it. You want some help once Boeing is, Boeing's move, moves over the highs. When Boeing have a nice technical formation, you want some help. You don't only want the help of the intraday day traders which is important. You want their help. You want Boeing to show you a nice technical intraday technical formation and go long. You want to expect a new high and you want to go long the right place because you expect and you want more people to join you. The whole idea of trading that a lot of people are doing the same thing together. I mean, the whole idea of technical analysis is a self-fulfilling prophecy, really. Because if lots of people are watching the same technical formation and are doing all the same, then it's likely that you succeed. I mean, people will not go short when Boeing is moving higher, right? And especially when it has such a nice technical formation on the daily chart, because that draws in the core traders as well, the investors. That draws them in as well. Remember, most of the volume in the market comes from institutional traders and from long-term investors, or as we call them, core traders. These guys are watching Boeing. The Boeing is on their watch list. <laughs> They're watching Boeing moving to a new high, a nice daily formation. Some of them are technical. Actually, most of them are technical, not only technical, not only technical. But these guys, the investors who are not an intraday traders and they don't care about the five minute or one minute daily intraday charts, they are helping you. So you've got the help of the intraday traders because it's trending higher and because they watch the daily as well. But you also have the important help of the guys who are core traders and are on the long term uh, vision of the market, in this case, Boeing. So you, you look at the daily and you say, wow, Boeing has got to be something interesting today. That is, of course, if I will find a nice intraday formation to go long Boeing. Well, I tried twice. Sadly, I tried twice. First one I tried was the right entry. There was nothing wrong about it. 248.50 was my entry. Initially started with the gap up. You would expect a gap and go. It came down. It popped up. That was the right thing to do. I went long. At one point, I was in profit, but then it came down, took, moved under the loss, took me out. Nothing I could do about it. I have to move. I got to have a stop loss. You don't know if it's coming under the lows, if it's going to continue moving lower. But then it rejected the lows, moved again over 248.50. Now you can see that it did that twice. It's very important to notice this small intraday moves. Look, it came down, moved up. Look at this topping tail here. At that point, it came up again. I didn't buy it. I did not intend to buy it. And it came down again. This is topping tail on this green candle. And once it came down here, you could think, well, maybe it's going to continue the downtrend. No, it stopped, moved up, moved over this green candle, which is 
my, my plan trigger again to 48.50. And then once it was getting close to the highs, can't remember when, I, I think it was 2.49. I announced in the trading room I'm going to add. Why? Because it was very close to the highs. I was expecting it to move over that. I think it was, yeah, it was 248.50. Now I remember because the highs was uh, was another like 40 cents above that. Right. It was 249.85 or so. So approximately 30%, 30 cents before it moved to a new high, I was expecting the highs. So, you, you know, it already moved up one point. It was getting stronger. You could see the volume growing. Look at the volume. It moves in the direction of the highs. And then you could expect a new breakout. Always one of the most important things when you're trading, expect the next move. Expect the next move. Anticipate the move over the highs. That's where I added, uh, which made my trade more successful than uh, I started with. And then it popped up over the highs and uh, definitely continued as much as it did. Uh, I do want to move now to five minute candles here. Take a look at Boeing in five minute candles. I sold right at the highs. I sold everything right at the highs. I mean, I took my partial before that, but the rest of my quantity, I sold right at the highs. Very proud of that. Really, very, very proud of that. The reason I sold everything right at the highs, because I figured out it was too extended. I figured out I could possibly, if I would like, buy Boeing at a better price. Not that I'm going to do that. I don't usually do that. But I'm very proud. Sometimes I'm more proud at my exit point than my entry point. And this is one of the cases. Because... Again, it moved up. You, you can count the candles here. Look, one, the green candles, two, three, four, five. Now look at the fifth one. You see that the fifth one is extended, is a wide range cam candle compared to the one before it. It's a wide range candle. And if you look at the volume, you can see that it's topping the, all the other volume bars. Usually you would look for a little bit more volume, but it was enough. It was topping the volume of the other bars and it was wide range candle, which means a lot of people were buying. And when a lot of people are buying, what happens to the price? You think it's going to go up? No, it's supposed to come down now. <laughs> because when a lot of people are buying, then there's no more buyers, at least for these five minutes. That's the way it works intraday. You wait until you see a lot of people buying. You need a wide range candle and an extended volume, which you didn't quite get an extended volume. It was a little bit over the other, but it was enough after five green candles to expect that uh, Boeing will pull back. I also mentioned something important earlier regarding the daily of uh, one chart we were looking at today, but also look at Boeing. I mean, you, you also need to look back on the intraday and see how Boeing behaves. And again, these are five minute candles. Look back. It made a big move here. That was yesterday. Count the candles. One, two, three, four, five, pull back. And you can continue with that. One, two, three, four, pull back. So anywhere around this number, Boeing pulls back. It's not just Boeing. It's almost every company. So always look back. I mean, some, some companies, some, some symbols will behave in a different way. It, it is different between one stock and another. So just look at that, look back, think if it looks to you like it's reasonable, it's going to continue higher. Remember the wide range candle, remember the topping uh, volume, and uh, that would be the right place to, uh, to get out of uh, your trade or lower your size or whatever, depending on your, on your target, of course, and so on. So, well, Boeing is actually not my biggest winner. My second one was, uh, my second trade was amazing. The first one was my first trade today, and actually I started in red. But I'm going to finish today again with uh, four, uh, four green trades, uh, four, excuse me, three green symbols, and uh, one loser, small one. So I'm feeling good. I'm okay. And I hope you guys are doing well too. And if you're on YouTube, we will really appreciate if you give us a thumb up. And you can subscribe. There's a button there that you can subscribe and click on the notification bell if you want to get uh, some notification of my future uploads. And um, to all the rest of you, I really appreciate that uh, you joined in today as well. That's my fourth consecutive green day for the week. So I am doing good. Looking forward for tomorrow, my last uh, trading day of the week. And so just enjoy the rest of your day. See you all tomorrow. Bye traders. Stay green and healthy.